Knicks family, what's popping? It's your boy. While we were streaming Knicks Weekly on Sportscaster, and you can check out the entire show, the link is in the description, we had a conversation about Tom Thibodeau and whether or not he would choose the New York Knicks over the Houston Rockets with Russell Westbrook and James Harden or the Brooklyn Nets with Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving. And both teams are rumored to be interested. Check out the conversation. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. The Houston Rockets, they have James Harden. They got Russell Westbrook. The Brooklyn Nets, they got Kevin Durant. They got Kyrie Irving. If the Knicks get the first crack at Tom Thibodeau, like it's reported they might, especially because the Nets and the Rockets would both be in the playoffs if the NBA resumes, would Tom Thibodeau take the Knicks' job over the Nets or the Rockets? Knowing who these two teams have and who the Knicks do not have, would he take that Knicks job? What do you think? Well, I think it's his preference, what he wants. If he wants, I mean, you could look at it in another sense as when Steve Kerr had a choice between us and wound up going to Golden State. Now, Golden State was already, you know, a ready-made team with Mark Jackson, you know, when they gave Mark Jackson the, the boot and then put him in there. So you could be looking at another situation, you know, like that, though we didn't have, we don't have Golden State's, you know, a, a inkling of their, you know, of their talent or, you know, success. So he might look towards a New Jersey Net team or a, um, a Houston Rocket team. He might do that. But that's okay, because we're, you know, my, my own preference. I'd rather have, I'd rather have, you know, Miller or Atkinson, you know, you know, being our coach anyway. Okay. Now I I I get that. I understand what you're saying. I definitely get that. But do you think that he would, knowing that those two teams are out there, if he interviewed with the Knicks first? And the Knicks really showed, said, hey, we want you to be here. Would he take the Knicks job or would he say, no, let me wait and see what's going on with the Nets and the Rockets? On paper, on paper, it's an easier route for, for his success and maybe the franchise success if he went with um, Brooklyn or with Houston. Mm -hmm. On paper. Now, right, all that can course. snowball. All that can snowball. We can't predict the future. Right. All that can snow can snowball, um, you know, next year. I mean, we all thought that if he was going to Minnesota, that Minnesota was going to be, you know, one of the top teams in the, you know, in the Western Conference. And it was just, again, it was a 360 the other way. So it all depends. Now, if he came to us, it's, it's his blueprint that's on the team of how he wants RJ to play, of how he wants Frank to play, of how he wants Mitch to play. Can he get, can he dig at, um, at um, Kevin Knox's um, talent? Can he, can he turn something, you know, um, turn something on with, um, in Kevin Knox? The point, right. I mean, the, the rookies that come in, the new, and the, and the players from the G League, when they finally, you know, come to the team, can he pull some diamonds out of the roughs out of there? Right. And, and then and the question yeah. is, you know, the question is, I think, does he want to do that? Does he want to right. work with the Frank right. Milikinas and the Kevin Knoxes and R.J. Barris, guys just coming into the league? Or, like you said earlier, is he ready-made? Right. Or is he a coach that needs a ready-made team? You know what I'm saying? Uh, that you know that's going to be the question. I want to know what you guys think out there. All right, uh, you know, leave it in the YouTube, you, uh, you leave it in the Sportscaster chat, leave it in the comment section. I want to know what you think. Would Tom Thibodeau go to the Knicks if he was interviewed by the Knicks first and the Knicks showed real interest? 
Or would he say, wait, I want to see what the Nets are talking about. I want to see what the Rockets are talking about. Because with the Knicks, there's going to be a lot of work to do. With those two teams, it's kind of ready-made. You know, you, yeah, I mean, you got yeah, veterans there. Yeah. You got stars there. All you got to do is put it together. That's the question. I want to know what you guys think about that. He And the thing about it also is he doesn't have stars if he chose between Houston or Brooklyn. He has superstars. He has two guys that have already won championships with um, Brooklyn and two that are, were on the cusp of winning championships in, um, in Russell Westbrook and... Um, um, and James Harden. And James Harden. And James yeah. Harden. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, either way, so if he picks either one, he's you know, on paper, he's set. Yeah. Right. He's set. I, I think the Knicks would have to, if the Knicks want to pull him, if they get first crack and they want to convince him, they're gonna have to pay him some real money. Now he's getting paid for Minnesota still. Not sure how long, but he's still getting paid for Minnesota. They're going to have to throw him some real money uh, to convince him, I think. Although, New York, from what we've read, has always been a dream of his. Yeah. I think and we, and, he'd and look we know, at I those mean, two other jobs. Them, but, uh, yeah. I think he'd look at those two other jobs and say, hey, you want me to come, in, come to the Knicks? Throw me the cash. And the thing about that, we know, we know that Dolan will cut the check. If if Rosen came to him, came to Dolan and said, this is who we're going with and this is his, what he demands, Dolan will cut the check because he's tr putting his trust in Rosen. Mm 